Oh my. <laughs> Happy Monday. I'm a walking example of what not to do. Oh my gosh, cue the sad music. Hey guys, welcome back. Did you miss me? Cause I missed you. Holy cow, how many days has it been? Like three? Hope you guys are having a good Monday. It's Monday morning here. Just dropped the kids off at school. Chatted with the neighbors. Now I'm home. Um, I did not sleep well last night. Derek's out of town and I just could not sleep last night. Uh, he just landed. He just texted me and he landed and he's home. Um, we Okay, let me rewind. This has been crazy. I have actually have been gone since Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I was in a class called Present Yourself. Looks like this, from three key elements. Awesome! Learned a ton, learned a ton about me, you guys. It was like awesome. It was about presenting and how to do presentations and things, but I learned a lot about myself and things that I was able to bring up out of me. Oh my gosh. Awesome class. While I was at that, Derek left for San Diego to see his brother and help his brother out. So I haven't seen Derek in a while. I uh, hardly saw my kids because I would be at the class late and then get back to them. So I am like, okay, time to get connected with my family. Um, and so I'm excited that we're all going to be together tonight when Derek gets home. Because he's he just got home, he landed, but he's going straight to work. So I'm not going to see him until after work. Um, but it was a good weekend. I'm tired. Yesterday I was home, and but uh, I didn't feel my motivation on Monday for you because I was finishing a uh, vlog for another company, and so I was like, "Oh, you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning without a motivational Monday." And so I was like, "You know, what? I'm not waiting till tomorrow to post something for you." So that's why I'm gonna do this one take vid for you because I can't leave you hanging. So sorry, it's late. So that's where I have been. Um, but I thought for some motivation today, I was like, what can I share with you to help motivate you or help in some way or just leave you feeling good? We are, I'm going to share a little message to you on how you can save time, money, and stress. Here's a little story for you. Glad I could help out with an, an example of what not to do. I'm a walking example of what not to do. Here's what happened. Wednesday morning, okay? I got in the car, so excited, going to present yourself, going to learn a bunch of goodies to help me out. Picked up my friend Katie because she went too. We got in the car, started driving to Salt Lake. We're talking, having a good old time, talk, talk, you know, not realizing I might be going a little fast. And then I look, I'm like, oh, I got to slow it down. We are in a construction zone. I got to bring it down, bring it down. And then as I was starting to bring it down, I look on the left side. I was in the carpool lane. There's a cop sitting there. So I slowed it down, but then the cop got behind me and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, there's a cop behind me. And you're like, oh, am I going fast enough? I'm like, am I going too slow? What's exactly the speed limit here? But it's a construction zone. But if it's 55, why is everyone flying past me on the left, on the right? And I'm like, what is going on? So I'm like, Katie, what do you think it is? She's like, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. We were talking too much. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what do we do? Okay, so I'm like, all right, stay calm. But I felt like I was going too slow and all these cars are flying by me. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get over to the right lane so he could drive by me and he could be in front of me and not give me blue. So I was like, okay, oh, but no one would let me in. And there was space up ahead. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to speed up to get to that space. So I speed up and I get over and guess what? My little shadow, Mr. Policeman, follows me over into that lane. And then guess what happened? Whoop! Turned his lights on and I was like, I haven't been pulled over in forever, you guys, like forever. So I've got to cross like four lanes of traffic on the high freeway there in Utah, just like boom, 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 get way over. And so I'm like, what do I have to get out? Oh yeah, license, 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 uh, registration, uh, proof of insurance. Now, I was not in my car. I was in Derek's car. Oh, 
I can't find all his stuff. I look in the glove compartment. It's not where it's supposed to be. I look in the side lifty thingy majigger. Hi, mom. I sound like you. The witch I'm going to call it. I, I, I can't find anything. So he, he asks for all the stuff and I'm looking at him like, so I give him what I thought was the registration and I gave him what I thought was proof of insurance but it had expired. He's like, this is expired. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like fumbling. Katie's helping me. We're fumbling through stuff. And at this point, I still didn't know what I did. I'm like, did I speed? You know? And so I'm like, <laughs> so I give him another proof of insurance. That one wasn't current. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, I don't know. I said, sir, I'm sorry. This is my husband's car. I, I, I don't know. But it's insured, I promise you. So he goes back there and look, and I started saying to him when he came back, like, ah, you, you got me nervous. That's why I sped up to get over so you would pass me. Like, I started to say this to him, and I immediately stopped. Because it's the same thing I don't like with my kids making excuses for their actions. Blaming somebody else for your actions so it doesn't reflect you, you know, it, it, you reflected on somebody else. And I immediately stopped and I was like, no, nope, I sped. My foot was on the pedal. It was me. I sped. Doesn't matter if I was nervous or not and tried to get past him, whatever. I sped. So he was super nice and he said, okay, I'm going to give you a warning about the insurance. Um, and I guess I was going 15 over, I guess. And, and so he only docked me for five going over the speed limit. So now because of this, I have a lovely ticket now. It's like my recognition, my award for my foolishness. But I was looking on here and he says no registration card in the vehicle. He gave me a warning. So I'm guessing what I thought was the registration wasn't the right registration. Like maybe an expired one. I don't know. Yeah. So I got a lovely ticket for my mistake. So I, I don't even know how much this is gonna cost. I don't even know what I need to do. I need to read it and have Derek help me. Um, I don't even know what to do with it. Um, but man, can I just tell you how I could have been prepared for this and how it could have saved me time, money, and stress. Okay, if now, Starting when Derek gets home, we are going to get our crap together and look in our car and make everything. I thought everything was current, but then I thought, oh, do I have the new insurance cards in my car? You know, all that starts running through your head. So by, by us not being organized and having our systems in place and not having things where they needed to be, it cost me money. I got pulled over. I wasn't able to give them the information. Now I have to pay a speeding ticket. Um, and so because I, you know, I, I lost money. I have to pay a speeding ticket. I lost time. So yeah, so now I'm going to have to go to driving school or whatever it's called. Cue the sad music. Like seriously, have you ever sat through those classes? They're so boring. They're like hours long and you literally want to stick like a pencil in your eye, smushing around, chew it and spit it out. And you're probably traffic school. Traffic school, that's what it is. And you're probably thinking you're being really dramatic. No. Have you ever been to traffic school? Seriously, hate it. So I've lost time. I've lost money. And it's causing me stress. Um that I did this. I mean, it does not take long to put the right registration in your car with your insurance card. It doesn't take long. So, the moral here, or the point here, is to seriously get in order. Get your car in order. Time, money, and stress, people. So, I encourage all of you, go check your cars. Make sure you got the right stuff in there. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. That's my little motivation for today. And it was funny because I let this drain my energy. The whole day I had a hard time shaking it off. Like seriously, it put me in a mood. 
it put it just my energy just dropped put me in a mood I had a hard time getting out of it even Katie she could tell and she was trying to help me she's so sweet and it just put me in a mood and but it was so funny like I was so annoyed because when I called Derek during all this and and something he said I can't even remember what he said but it put, put me in a mood I was like yeah Derek you didn't have to say that I know that thanks you know and and so but it was funny because as I was driving I was like okay come on so this happened it happened let it go let's move on and I was driving and I said to Katie okay Katie there's a lesson here there's a lesson here and she started laughing she goes yeah somewhere in there there's a lesson I'm like there's a lesson here and the lesson is to get your crap together because I am losing time money and I'm getting stressful so get your crap together that's my little insightful bit for you today on this Monday Monday get your crap together <laughs> and now I have a golden ticket so lucky I am lucky that they gave this to me because I learned a lesson mm-hmm so thank you officer can't read your writing but thank you for being nice and giving me two warnings and dropped my speeding so thank you you didn't have to do that <laughs> hope that motivated you to go get your cars in order huh 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 all right guys that was your motivational Monday I missed you like not talking to you guys for like three days like Yikes, I miss you guys. I do. All right. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Get your crap together. Get your crap together. All right. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see ya. Bye.